आई वी एम Hey guys, in today's episode, I have a truth bomb to drop, but all with the intention of gifting you the trick to being positive through 2019. This is episode N of the second series of A to Z of Positive Action on the Positively Unlimited podcast. And I'm telling you today that negative thinking is our default setting. Yes, you heard that right. So when I was doing my coaching certification, On day 1 of our class our instructor showed us this really cute animation of the brain and dropped the bomb on us. We have this little radar in our heads that's scanning for danger every 4 seconds. Now I may have said this in one of my previous episodes, but here's me repeating that story again because it just stuck with me. Now this is something that may have developed as part of evolution and the whole caveman version of us trying to not get eaten up by very hangry creatures. But this radar is still scanning away. and that's when it hit me if every few seconds my brain is looking for what's going to harm me then essentially i'm looking for faults in everything every situation and every person because today i may not be chased by a tiger on linking road but i have enough intellectual and emotional demons waiting to bite my head off for those of you who just went oh that's why i overthink so much well overthinking and negative thinking are cousins They aren't the same problem or the same habit though. But more on overthinking in next week's episode when I talk about overthinking versus organized thinking. Coming back to negative thinking. The truth is that looking at a situation to find what's wrong, aka negative thinking is default setting. While looking on the bright side, aka positive thinking is a learned behavior. In our current world we are bombarded by so much information so much news we are multitasking and doing so many things at the same time that the volume of this negative thinking has become way too loud and it's drowning out all other sounds of reason and rational thinking impatience the need for instant gratification and this fear that time is running out is only adding more fuel oil kerosene and a whole bunch of flammable stuff to this fire and on some days or rather for some of us on most days it feels like we'll be engulfed and burnt to ashes in no time now i'm sorry if this episode is sounding a little doomsdayish but this is just an example of how loud and intense the volume of that negative thinking in our head is it just goes on and on keeping us stuck in dark emotions and throwing us in a downward spiral so how can we counter it or can we even counter it Well at this point let me give you a get out of jail free card. If anyone tells you be positive, slap them. Really, just go for it. Unless they can also tell you how to be positive when you've had your heart broken or just lost your job. Being positive, thinking positive is a learned behavior. You have to make an effort every day and it requires presence of mind. One of the easiest ways is to flip the thought using words. If you can think a negative thought you can also create the exact opposite of it a positive thought example this is never going to work out i'm so screwed let's just take those words right the opposite for me would be whatever happens i'm going to figure it out you may want to listen to that example a few more times what i did was i created a statement that was the opposite of that negative thought for me grammatically or by rules of english or whichever language my statement of figuring it out may not be considered as an opposite of i'm screwed don't get caught up in grammar and rules remember these thoughts are tied to emotions so if you are thinking this is never going to work out i'm so screwed and if the opposite of it for you is well whatever happens i'm going to figure it out then that's what the opposite is the positive statement must create a positive feeling that the conscious mind can latch on to while letting go of that negative feeling brought on by that negative thought now as a little practice for this week think of a negative thought that's your constant companion write it down this must be a single sentence it's one thought not a rant and now flip it again a single positive sentence that for you is the opposite of that negative thought you just wrote out all through this week Every time that you are hit by that negative thought you need to now have the presence of mind to repeat this positive statement till it becomes the thought itself this is you telling your mind to shut up 
you are telling your mind to take that negative thought and to go to the back of beyond because you are making a better more powerful conscious choice the choice to think positive so repeat that statement like chanting a mantra till you can feel your emotion shift and this is what takes practice it requires a little effort i think episode 13 was about making conscious choices and episode 27 had a great meditation to help you calm your mind down when the negative thoughts or the overthinking becomes just too much remember all previous episodes are on the ivm podcast app and their website and i'd love to know the negative thought you struggle with and the positive statement you are choosing to chant away this week so drop me a line on instagram my handle is positivity angel until next time train that mind to think positive hello everybody we have a brand new daily podcast we're working on with bloomberg quint all you need to know provides the top news on business markets and the economy so that you can stay ahead of the curve Tune in every morning on bloombookquint.com, the IVM podcast app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. Have you gotten yourself a gym membership and shown up only a few times? Are long working hours cutting your fitness goals short? How about you change things a little? Even a small effort can make a big difference, and I'll tell you how and what exactly. Hi guys, I am Coach Urmi and on the Kinetic Living podcast, you can look forward to some interesting stories of people who have changed the way they look at fitness after their kinetic journeys. Episodes out every Wednesday on the IVM app, website and anywhere you get your podcast from.